we are just a little bit further out than usual today. We've come to Hayfield, but that's okay. Worth the journey because this is a place I've been meaning to get to for a long time. Always hearing good things, and Tommy has been in touch to tell us good things. He reckons it's the best country pub he's ever been to in all of his life. Well, let's find out if that's true because this has just got into the Michelin Guide. Hello. Hello, mate. Good How to see you. How are you, man? Yeah, good good to see you. Thank you. Thank you for having us down. Thanks for coming. What a place. It's, it's pretty special. I mean, it's just a proper pub with proper locals. Um, but you're, number, you're number 18 in the top 50 gastro pubs. We are number 18 in the top 50 gastro pubs, but I don't like the word gastro pub okay. because we're a proper pub and it just happens to serve great food. I think what we're all about here is championing great British produce and um, really focusing on the great produce of the Peak District and just cooking it with a bit of love and a bit of care. Already, lads. I mean, I'm in. And a nice little range of booze you've got here as well. Yeah, Arsh, it's all we... about the beer. It's a proper pub. Can I get you a pint? Yeah, man. Pint of the old Cascade. Cool, no worries. Bar snack whilst you wait. <laughs> yeah, bar snack while I wait. Of course, <laughs> what we got? Almonds, wasabi, chicken skin. Pint and some chicken skin. I don't even need to eat your dinner. Look at all this, Luke. I don't quite know where to start, so we'll, I guess, just work our way through the starters. That was yeah. in a normal yeah. place we'll to start go. With the, with the lighter snack, so maybe the Manchester egg first. So in case anyone doesn't know, I'm sure they do by now, but just explain what a Manchester egg is. So it's pretty much a Scotch egg. Yeah. However, the egg is pickled um, and it's wrapped in black pudding. So it's we, when we soft boil the eggs as well, which keeps it all lovely and juicy and delicious and. You can just get that little hint of pickle. It almost gives it like brown sauce vibes. Yeah. I would have thought that was brown sauce. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's our the absolute signature. And I know for a fact that I want to get stuck into this little thing. Yeah, so this is our pig's trotter crockett. So it's a, it's a bit of a labour of love where we have to shred hundreds of boiled pig's feet over and over again until we get this lovely kind of like fine mince out of it and then we pat it down into a croquette. I mean, it sounds disgusting then. It does sound disgusting. Thankfully, they taste incredible. And um, with that, we've got a little sauce gribiche, which is like a classic French emulsion made with chopped hard boiled eggs, gherkins, capers and shallots. And on the top there, we've just got a little green bean chutney. Green beans, obviously, in height of season at the moment, just gives it a little punchiness. Best feet you've ever eaten? It's the best feet I've ever eaten. <laughs> Do you know what, can I just say, I'm so happy. I feel there's no one else in here. It's not open. I feel like we've got our own little lock-in. It is, it does feel very private, doesn't it? It's nice. Yeah. It's, a special, it's, a, it's a special intimate moment between yeah. the two of us, yeah. this. Oh, and these lads, forgot about them. Um, so what have we got here, Luke? Uh, so this is a stone bass. Uh, we've charcoal roasted this in our charcoal oven. Uh, we've got some burnt grello onions to go with it. Creamed cavalanero. Um, finished with a fish cream that's just studded with some trout caviar. That's outstanding. Like really, really very, very good. How long have you been here, mate? Uh, seven years now, it'll be seven years next week. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, time flies. So I was 24 when we opened the doors um, before here. I was working for a juggernaut pub co, just churning out that kind of sort of ping and sling microwave food. Okay, and that wasn't doing it for you, man? No, my, my passion was being dulled a little bit, because I actually fell in love with cooking at university when I was studying drama. And I knew when I graduated, that was my shot. Got a job washing up for this great big pub co, worked my way up to head chef and was like, don't want to do this anymore. Picked my keys up to go for a drive one day, and I drove straight past the front of the pack horse, and on the front was a sign that says, do you want to run this pub? No. It's like written in the stars. So, yes, I do. I do. <laughs> yeah. well, and literally, then you just sort of eight, applied eight weeks and... later, I had the keys. Holy shit. Yeah. That's mental. It is a mad story. And here we are. Yeah. So this is what it's all about for me, Luke. A pie and a pint. Proper pie in a proper pub. So this is our... Goat Rogan Josh pie. Goat Rogan Josh. Goat Rogan Josh. Yeah. So we like to we like to mix the fillings up a little bit. It just keeps people on their toes. We don't do chicken and meat. We don't do beef and onion. But we do do pies, and we're really passionate about our pies. It's proper puff pastry, really, really lovingly made fillings that take hours. 
Um, and the end product, I think, is worth all of it. We serve that on the side with a little smoked garlic butter mash and some um, green beans just dressed in a little herb dressing. And who don't love curry in a pie? I mean... It's the best of both worlds, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. Well, this, this actually brings me on quite nicely because I want to talk to you about the fact that you're now in the Michelin Guide. Yep. And just eating that pie, I can see why. Thank you. Um, how was that for you to, to be included in something as prestigious as that? It was, it was incredible. It was never something that we ever expected or were chasing because... We're well, not think, chasing it. No. Okay. No. If, I think if you start cooking for the guide, you lose track of what you're actually doing. So we cook food that we love to eat, rule number one. And if the guests are enjoying it, everybody's happy. And that's, yeah. that's absolutely the, the most paramount importance to us is that the guests are happy. If we get recognition on top of that, it's a bonus. Well, you've got that recognition, baby. Look at that. Come on, look at this. If that, well, for me, that is cooked to absolute perfection. Thank you very like much. Perfection. This is our local high peak lamb, carefully sourced by John Metric and Metric's butchers for us I from the job. surrounding hills. It's the most incredible lamb, probably the best lamb in the country because of the rolling pasture that we've got in the Peak District. It's got almost like a herbaceous quality to it, and the meat is just phenomenal absolutely phenomenal so we paired that here with a kale ragu with some butter beans um, studied that with some pickled wild garlic uh, some smoked anchovy as well just chopped through it just to lift it up a little bit and the sauce we've made from all the bones from the lamb itself <sighs> for me it's it's humble it's rustic but it's it's a real shout about the quality of the produce that we've got that surrounds us and it, the lamb is phenomenal it's Fucking perfect. You, you can almost taste what the lamb's been having for dinner. Yeah. It's unbelievable. Now, when we came here, you told me that there were two dishes you were not going to let me leave without trying. One of them was the Manchester egg. Yep. And the second one is this little bad boy. What we got here, Luke? This is the salty caramel custard tart. And this has become something of a signature of ours. Um, oh, I've been... Wobble. <laughs> it's got the wobble, all right. It has got the wobble, baby. I've been working on this recipe for years. Um, just getting the set right, getting the texture right, getting the flavor right. And it's it's just become its, its own kind of sort of thing on its own. We bake one every day. It's fresh for lunch. If you come for lunch and you're the first table that's in, it's still a little bit warm. It's like a rare, rare treat. It's absolutely delicious. It is good. It is good. I think I'm going to eat all of it. Before we go, you got a cookbook coming out. Cookbook's coming out. Yeah. And recipes from the pub itself. Yeah, so the Manchester egg recipe is in there. The custard tart recipe is in there. Is it? Yeah. And it's a celebration of what we do in the pub throughout the seasons. Uh, and within that, we've also got four local walks that open each seasonal chapter. They all start and end at the pub. So it's a real celebration of what we do here and where we are. Absolutely magic. Luke, honestly, thank you so thank much, you, Matt. Matt. I, every single mouthful of food has been delicious. Wonderful. What you're doing thank here you is incredible. Much. In fact, it's so incredible. Should we bring all that food back in? It's not all finished. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. One of the best things I've ever eaten, I think. Wow, now I know why that place is in the Michelin Guide. And now I know why Tommy says that it's the best country pub he's ever been to in his life. I think it might be the best country pub I've ever been to in my life. Now, I'm not gonna stand here and tell you my favorite dishes because honestly, it was all my favorite. I loved every mouthful. As always, you know the score, you know what to do now. If you've got somewhere you want to visit, leave a little message below. I'm gonna finish my Manchester egg.